Hi, and welcome to our CSS tutorials. In this video, what I want to show you how to do is how to create a CSS menu with rollover images. And you can see here the HTML for my design. You can also see that I'm in live view right over here to the right. And here is our completed menu. It's just got a couple of images, but um, you can see how you could apply this very easily to as many images as you wanted to in your design. And you're going to notice that when I mouse over these images, the text color changes. They're not fancy buttons at all, but they serve our purpose for this uh, lesson. Now, when we look at the HTML for this, you're going to see that just like the other navigations that we've created, this is in an unordered list. And then you'll see those two list items there. Now, there are a couple things that are going to be different between this and the previous examples we've used. One is that there's no content inside of our A tag here. And you can see it's completely empty. If I was to type something in there, like the word text, and save it. When I look at my menu, you're now going to see that word text appearing with the button. So we want to remove that. We're going to add it back in. You'll see a little bit uh, trick we're going to do uh, later on. But now I just have the buttons. So the first thing here is that the A tag is actually empty. And I just used empty links here, but obviously you would put whatever link you wanted um, or whatever URL you wanted this link to go to. Now, the second difference is that we've applied a class style to each one of our list items. And you can see I have class home here and class about. And it's attached to the list item. Okay, so fair, some fairly simple CS or some fairly simple HTML. Now let's go ahead and let's look at the CSS for this design. I'm going to go ahead and click on my style sheet here. And you're going to see up top we have some pretty standard um, CSS navigation styles. The first thing we're doing is we're setting the width of the UL, or we're setting the width of the actual menu. And in this case it's going to be 140 pixels. We're removing the bullet from these items. So we're doing list style type none. And finally, anytime we have an A tag inside of an LI, we're going to specify the height as being 32 pixels. Now, since A tags are actually inline elements and not block level elements, in order to have this height applied, we also need to specify that the display property is block. And again, most of this should be fairly familiar to you from earlier videos. Now, here's the part that gets interesting that we're actually going to work with to create this rollover effect. You're going to see I have four styles here. All four of these styles apply to list items. They apply to list items that have had the class home or about applied to them. And you can see the same thing here, home and about. One is being applied to the A tag. And the other is just being applied to the list item. Now, again, when we look at this background image for these items, you're going to see that the list item has the on state graphic, or it actually has the graphic as it's shown when it rolls over. So again, this list item here that's formatted with the about class is going to get a background image of about on. And again, that's the state it should be when you actually mouse over it. Now, we have two more class styles here, but instead of applying these background images just to the list item, we're applying it to any time there's a list item that's formatted with the home class, and we're applying this to the A tag. And you're going to see here we have the same background image statement. The only difference is that it's going to show the off state graphics here. Now, since the A tag is in essence on top of the LI, again, let's go back and look at our source code here. We have the LI tag that has this class being applied to it, and then we have the A tag inside of it. So this is deeper than the LI or comes later you're going to see that when 
we apply the A tag, it's again getting a background image, only it's the off graphic, the off version of the graphic. Since the A tag is on top of your LI tag, the normal state of these buttons is going to be this here with the off state graphic. It's only when we hover over the graphic that these images appear. And the reason why these on state graphics appear is this final style here where we've said anytime we have an LI and you'll have a hover effect, we're going to in fact hide the background image that's applied to the A tag. So anytime we have an A tag and we have the hover effect, we want to set the background image to none. And what that's going to do is it's going to hide these two graphics. And since the off graphic is being hidden, the on graphic that's underneath, because it's been applied to the LI, will show through. So that's some simple CSS to make a rollover menu with images.